Welcome to week four data visualization with ggplot2. This is an exciting week and it's the second most important concept in the course. The most important foundation is data manipulation and you are now well versed with dplyr, tidier, and friends. Data visualization is the second and you will be well versed with ggplot2 by the end of this week. This week is jam packed with about three hours of lectures on visualization with ggplot2. The goal is to be able to craft effective visualizations like these, which you will complete in the advanced business plotting section at the end of this week. The first advanced plot shows the top end customers answering the question of which customers have the most purchasing power. The second advanced plot shows a heat map of customer purchasing trends answering the question of which customers prefer which products. To get to the advanced plots, you will need to learn ggplot2 from A to Z. Here's how you're going to do it. We begin the week by making a ggplot showing you what comprises the complex visualization structure and how you can investigate the anatomy of a ggplot object using the RStudio IDE. Next, you learn each of the primary geometries, including Scatter plots for visualizing relationships between two continuous variables, line plots for creating time series plots, bar slash column plots for visualizing numeric aggregations by categories, histograms, faceted histograms, and density plots for visualizing univariate distributions and within category distributions, box plots and violin plots for visualizing distributions by category for features with many categories and text and label geometries for adding textual mappings to plots. We then switch gears learning the ins and outs of formatting ggplots, an essential skill for customization. You learn how to work with colors and color palettes including Brewer, TidyQuant, and Veritas, how to create aesthetic feature mappings including color, fill, and size, how to build faceted plots to investigate categories, how to perform position adjustments, how to work with scales for both continuous and discrete features, how to adjust labels and legends, and how to fine-tune them with the theme function. We end the week by creating two advanced visualizations shown at the beginning of this presentation, the top end customer plot and the customer buying habit heat map. By the end of this week, you will be highly proficient with data visualization using ggplot2, the second most critical skill a data scientist must have. All right, let's get started.